And hello, everyone. It's great to have you back with us for our third backstage event this year. We've got a few exciting product updates to share with you today, um, covering multiple areas of the Blink product. There are three things that we would like to update you on. Sorry, user status, a new feature that will tell your colleagues when you're away from Blink, a new launch page in Hub on desktop, and as Sean mentioned, Blink identity, a feature set including existing features and three new features that we will be covering today. Now, to start us off, I'd like to hand over to our head of customer success, Flo, who will talk about these first two features, user status and the Hub launch page. Flo? Thank you, Gavin. And hello, everybody. Um, so we work with all kinds of brilliant customers all over the world, uh, many of whom have workforces based in different locations, different time zones, and often working different hours during the day. And as a result of this, the ability to set a user status has been our most requested feature of all time. Um, and it's going to let you tell your colleagues when you're away, when you'll be back, who to contact in your absence. It works with our snooze and do not disturb features. And you can update your status from any of our apps at any time. So now we're going to show you how it works. On the left hand side of the screen, uh, we have the desktop app and we're logged into Olaf's account. And on the right hand side, we're in the mobile app where we're logged into Felicity's account. And for this example, I'm going to be Felicity and I'm going to use the user status on my mobile. So all I need to do is go to settings. And in settings, I need to choose the option to set status as a way. By turning on the toggle at the top there, a red cross will appear by my profile and indicate that I'm unavailable. And I can also add a message to tell my colleagues why I'm unavailable. Um, so for example here, I'm off on annual leave until the 4th. So if we jump onto the desktop to see what Olaf sees, in places like chats, for example, and in the directory, um, you'll be able to see that when Felicity is away, there's a red cross by her profile picture. Um, and you can also see the little message that she's left for her colleagues to, to, for them to understand why she's unavailable. So when Felicity comes back from holiday, or back from annual leave and comes back into Blink, there will be a little reminder that her status has been set to away. So you can see the banner at the bottom there saying your status is set to away. All she needs to do to turn that off is click on that banner, turn off that toggle, and she will now appear as available to all of her colleagues. So this feature also works with our do not disturb and snooze functionality. So if I'm Felicity and I want to snooze my blink for say 20 minutes, um, Olaf and all of my other colleagues will be able to see three little grazies by my profile picture um, uh, in the blink interface, as you can see there. So that's user status. Now next, I'm going to tell you about the new Hub launch page. So currently, when you open the Hub on desktop or web, you're presented with quite a big blank gray space. Um, and we've had multiple requests from customers asking to use this space as another place to share content. So this feature works in exactly the same way as setting a default page as the root of a folder in the Hub. But now it works for the whole Hub as well. So now we're going to show you how that works. Now, if we go to the hub on the desktop app, you can see that blank gray space that I was talking about. To change this, what we need to do is go to the admin portal and go to the hub. Now in the hub, we then need to find the page that we want to set as our default page. Um, so here we've created a page called social care panel. Now, if I click on the three vertical dots, there is the option to, to make it the default page. As soon as I click on that, that will immediately change the default page in my hub uh, to, to that, that social care panel page. So you can use this for all kinds of things, whether it be company events such as this, uh, company news, celebrations, um, and whatever you'd like it to be, and you can change it whenever you need to. Now, the most exciting thing about user status and the hub launch page is that they have already been launched to all of you. So they're already working in Blink um, today and you're, you're more than welcome to start using them whenever you'd like to. So now I'm gonna hand over back to Gavin who's going to tell you more about Blink Identity. Thank you, Flo. Now over the last few months, we've been focusing behind the scenes on three large areas of the product. And these are content, analytics and identity. 
And each one of these covers a range of functionality within the admin portal and the Blink applications. And we'll soon be ready to talk more about the exciting things that we've been working on for both content and analytics. But for today, I'd like to focus on identity. Now, identity in Blink means many things. Think of it as the digital HR department inside of Blink. First and foremost, it means getting your workforce signed up on the platform as quickly and frictionless as possible. And once signed up, make it easy but secure to authenticate users so that you can rest assured that they are who they say they are. And secondly, it's keeping your employees' details and the access that they've got to hub and feed through the teams that they're in up to date, whether that is through automated sync with, for example, Active Directory, or whether that's done manually. And the reason that we want to build out a great feature set in these first two areas is because it opens up the door for this third and exciting area. Once you get your employees signed up to Blink and can be confident about who they are, you can then give them access to a whole list of third-party systems and applications, all securely authenticated through Blink. And giving access to things like pay slips, rosters, HR, and rewards and benefits without the need for more passwords, while greatly increasing usage and adaptation of these tools. And these three parts together make all of this possible. And we want to make sure that all three of these are matched with great functionality inside of Blink. We're calling this set of features Blink Identity. So what is Blink Identity? Now, on the one hand, it is many familiar features like importing users into Blink, syncing users from Active Directory, or giving access to files and folders in SharePoint through Blink. And today, we'd like to talk about three new features in each one of these areas. In the first one, protecting content in Hub. In the second one, making bulk updates to users and the new application marketplace that makes finding available single sign-on apps in Blink easier than ever. Let's start with protecting content. Now, the more you use Hub in Blink to share files, folders, and shortcuts with your workforce, the more likely it becomes that you want to add items to Hub that are a bit more sensitive. And ideally, you would want to make sure that those files don't end up in the wrong hands, especially when accessed from a mobile device that could be lost or that could be stolen. And this is where our new protect content feature comes in. It allows you to mark any file, any document or shortcut as being protected. And this will require an additional step of authentication before allowing access. Let's have a quick look at how you could add extra protection to something in Hub. So I'm back here in the, um, in the Blink desktop application. I'm gonna go into the admin portal. And I'm going to go to Hub and find something that I would like to add some extra protection to. For example, this holiday request uh, micro app. So all I do is I go into the three little menu here and I select this new protect content option. That is now saved. And you can tell by the little icon here that this item in Hub is uh, protected. So what does that look like when I'm coming in from the mobile application when I'm going into Hub? So I'm going to go over to the mobile application here on the right, and I'm going to open my Hub. I'm looking for the Holiday Requests app, and I found it there. And as you can see, it's also indicated to the user that this is now protected, and they can expect an extra check to happen. That check could either be, I'm on iOS, so for me, it'll be Face ID, but it also could be through a fingerprint or through a pin code that you've got set on your device. So I'm going to open it. It's going to do that magical face scan, and bam, I'm in. I'm ready to book my next holiday, which has just become a lot easier in the last few weeks. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go back out and, and back into the presentation. And that is how simple it is to protect your most sensitive files in Hub going forward with protected content. Now, next up, our second feature, Blink Identity, is bulk updates. And to talk about it, I'd like to hand back to Flo. Flo? Thanks, Gavin. Um, so currently, if you'd like to make changes in bulk to users in Blink, um, administrators will have to do it in quite a manual way, or, or you can lean on us for support. But bulk updates is now coming to you. And what this will allow you to do is make any changes to up to 5,000 users at any one time. Um, so this is gonna massively reduce the burden uh, on administrators having to update multiple user profiles on a regular basis. 
Um, so how's it going to work? All you'll need to do is go to the user section of the admin portal and under actions, uh, choose to export users, which you can do today. Then you will download the new user template, which looks like this. You can then make all of the changes that you want to make um, and save it and then re-upload it into Blink. Uh, and those updates will be made immediately to all of the, those users in one go. So what, can you, what details can you actually change? You can change things like name, email address, phone number. You'll be able to do line managers now. Um, you'll be able to update employee IDs and team membership across all of the teams that you have within your Blink environment. And finally, you'll be able to update account status. So you will be able to bulk enable and bulk disable users at the same time. And it's as simple as that. Um, so now I'm gonna hand over back to Gavin, who's going to tell you about the application marketplace. All right, thanks, Flo, for our third and final new Blink Identity feature, um, the application marketplace. Now, earlier I mentioned the exciting third part of Blink Identity, the ability to use this identity to safely and quickly give access to third-party systems. And the best and easiest way to do this is by adding a single sign-on app to your hub that gives your workforce a one-tap access to a third-party system from within Blink. And using single sign-on apps, rolling out your new HR tool has just become a lot easier and a lot quicker as well. We've been working very hard on bringing more single sign-on apps to our catalog of available apps. And we want to make sure that everyone can easily discover and set up apps that we have available, as well as find out about new apps that we may add in the future. And that is why we are launching our new application marketplace inside of the Blink admin portal, where you'll be able to find all the available single sign-on apps that work with the tools that you have at work. Well, let's have a look at what it looks like in the Blink admin portal, as well as an example of a single sign-on app that we've been working on with one of our customers that will be launching very, very soon. So I'm back here in the um, admin portal on the left, and you can you can see at the top of the admin portal, there's this new Blink identity section, and that is grouping together all that Blink identity functionality that we've been talking about. Things like users, managing teams, and also this new single sign-on tab. And this is where you can go and find any single sign-on application that you've got enabled in your organization. Now, I've come in here and I've not actually got any single sign-on app set up for me, so I'd like to go in and discover what is available to me. I'm going to click this button, and it's taken me to the new application marketplace. So here you've got a list of all the apps that we've got available, and that's not just single sign-on apps. There's also apps that work with feed and search, so you can also set those up if you like. So as an example, we've been working with one of our customers on a single sign-on app called I, with uh, iTrend. And I'm going to move over to the mobile phone here on the right, just to give you an idea of how quick and simple it is to use that. I'm going to go into Hub again, and I'm going to go find the iTrend app. For example, I'd like to maybe um, claim some expenses or book an absence or look at my payslips. I've, I've found the iTrend uh, a single sign-on app here in Hub, and as you can see, it's also protected. So that works nicely together. It is now going to first do uh, an authentication check on me using Face ID before it lets me in into iTrend. So I'm going to just tap that. It's done the face check, and I'm straight into iTrend. I don't need to do any passwords. I don't need to install any applications. I'm straight into iTrend, ready to book absence, to uh, claim any expenses, or to look at my payslips. Now, I'm not going to do any of that right now. I'm going to go back out and into uh, the app. So the customer that we're rolling out here, they've seen five times increase in adaption of iTrend, and they've also seen a hundred thousand um, pound reduction in cost of printing payslips. And we're going to be adding more single sign-on apps soon, so make sure to keep an eye on the marketplace. And if you'd like to set up any of these apps, please hit the contact us button in the marketplace, and we'll get you set up. So that is Blink Identity, your end-to-end -end employee lifecycle manager. We covered three new features that are part of Blink Identity. Protect the content, which is out next week, and then making bulk updates, which will be out soon after, early in October. The new application marketplace, including our current single sign-on offering, is ready for discovery right now in the Blink admin portal.
And that's just a start. We will be adding more functionality to Blink Identity over the next few months.